dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello everybody and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Grandma Pat. And we are so excited to have you with mm -hmm. us today. Hey Grandma Pat, before we start talking about that incredibly delicious thing we're going to talk about today, should we sing? Yes. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? And as always, the song says clap your hands, but you clap whatever you want. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I really want to hear a story today. How about you? Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Hey, what should we talk about, Grandma Pat? Look at that. What are those, do you think? Well, they're kumquats. Oh yeah, or pineapples. Are they pineapples? I no. don't think so. I think you're right, story time friends. Grandma Pat, those are apples. Those are apples, and I love apples. One of my best memories is as a little girl sitting in an apple tree, picking the apple and eating it right there in the tree. That was so much fun. What did you bring up in the tree with you when you were eating green apples? Oh, salt. Salt shaker. And what did you like to do while you were eating apples in the tree? Shake salt on it. And... You once told me that you liked to read books up in the apple tree. I did, too. I did like to read books up there. And then once in a while, my brother would come walking by, and if I had an apple core, guess what I did? I was just a little girl. <laughs> but I threw the apple core at my brother. Was your aim very good? No. Okay. So I don't worry did. about that apple core thing. Never it was did. fine, people. Yeah. Okay. okay. It was just fine. But let's talk about apples today. So why are we talking about apples this time of year? Oh, 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 because we can find so many good apples every place. There's fresh apples in the grocery store, in the farmer's markets, everywhere. There's lots of good, juicy and I actually think apples are grown everywhere in the United States. I think they are too. We're in a really cold climate and we can grow a lot of delicious apples way up here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we yeah. have apples up here in uh, the northern part of the United States that other people can't grow. They're special apples. <laughs> <laughs> well, Grandma Pat, did you bring any good books about apples? I have two wonderful books about apples. I can't. Miss Tracy, our first book about apples is called Let's Explore Apples. And it's brought to us by Learner Publications in Minneapolis. And it's uh, written by Jill Colella. And if you'll notice, it's, all, it's a nonfiction. The front, we've got a table of contents. It tells you just exactly what we're gonna be seeing and what pages they're on. And here is called a picture glossary. And we usually have those at the end of a nonfiction book, but we have this one at the beginning. This is half apple tree, core, mash, and there's an orchard. So let's check out some apples. All about apples. Apples are firm and crunchy. You can eat them in many ways. You can take a bite from an unpeeled apple. You can cut an apple into slices and dip them in peanut butter or caramel. Mm. Cooked apples are soft and delicious. Apples can be baked into yummy foods such as pies and donuts. Apples are juicy. Squeezed apples make 
apple juice. She looks happy. Let's compare. Apples come in many shapes, sizes, colors, and even tastes. Some taste sweet and some taste tart. Tart is another word for something that's kind of sour. Granny Smith apples are tart and green. Honeycrisp apples are sweet. Macintosh apples are juicy. Let's explore. The apple at the top is a whole apple. The apple below it is cut in half. Look at the half. Do you see the core? Do you spot the seeds? Can you find the surprise? Inside the apple is a special surprise shape, a star. See the star? That's funny, because we don't normally see the star, because we don't normally cut an apple that way, do no, we? No, we don't. A star. A star has as many points as an apple tree flower has petals. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's pretty special. Let's go pick apples. Apples grow on trees. An orchard is a fruit tree farm. Look at all those apples. Visiting an orchard is lots of fun. You can pick your own fruits right from a tree. Let's go pick some apples. There are apples down low and there are apples up high. There are big apples and small apples. There are apples hanging from trees. There are apples on the ground. There is an apple way up high. We can't reach it. Ask an adult for help. An adult can lift you so high you can reach the apple. If it's still too high, the adult can help you use a ladder. We need lots of apples to make applesauce. We must fill the basket with apples. Is the basket full yet? I think so. What do you think, Miss Tracy? I don't know if I could carry that basket. I think that those are gonna fall out of that basket. They better be careful. Animals like apples too. There's a caterpillar crawling on an apple. I suspect he likes the leaves the best though. And there's a bird who likes to peck at apples, but birds also like the bugs that come around these flowers. And then, of course, the bees love the apple blossoms. Look at the apples we picked. We have big apples, small apples, and medium-sized apples. And look, here's even a recipe. Let's cook applesauce. It tells you what ingredients to use. It tells you exactly how to make applesauce. Mmm, sounds good. Hey, story time friends, Grandma Pat. Yes. Do you want to do a flannel board? Uh, I hope so. I love doing flannel boards, but first, before we do a flannel board, would you do a hand play with me? This is called Eat an Apple. All right? And this is how it goes. We're gonna pretend we're eating an apple. And it goes, eat an apple. Save the core. Don't throw it at your brother. <laughs> Plant some seeds. We're gonna take the seeds from the apple core and grow some more. And then we become an apple tree. Should we do it again? Ready? What do we start with? Yep, we're gonna eat an apple. Eat an apple. Mm -hmm. Save the core, 
plant some seeds and grow some more. There you go. It's kind of an amazing thing how we can grow apple trees from apple seeds. All right, so on our flannel board, my friends, you can see that we have a basket. And we are going to put our apples into the basket. All right? So this is called, surprisingly, five apples in a basket. Here we go. The first apple in the basket was bright and shiny red. The sec second apple said, my, what a cozy bed. The third apple in the basket said, hey, make room, you pair. The fourth apple in the basket said, please move over there. The fifth apple in the basket said, oh me, oh heavens, oh my. This basket looks like a pastry. I think we get to be a pie. Were you expecting that? The apples turned into an apple pie. Hey, thanks for playing. Our second apple book is about Apple Farmer Annie. And it's written by Monica Wellington. And it comes to us from Puffin Books. And since there's no illustrator's name, she must have drawn the pictures too. Annie is an apple farmer. She has a big orchard full of apple trees. It says Annie's apples on that truck. In the fall, she picks baskets and baskets of round, ripe apples. Looks like her dog is helping her. Yeah, looks like the squirrel is helping too. Hmm. She grows many kinds of apples. She sorts and organizes them. She puts all of these together and all this kind together. She's sorting them by color. Kind of Look at that. Yeah, and by kinds. Because yeah. that's a yellow delicious. That looks like a honey crisp. Mmm. Annie uses some of the apples to make sweet apple cider. You know what cider is, Miss Tracy? I think it's like apple juice. Isn't it, it is. It's just like apple juice, but I think it has more of the apple in it than just the juice. They smash up the apple. She uses others to make delicious, smooth applesauce. Oh, we like our applesauce. She loves baking muffins, cakes, and pies with her apples. Mm -hmm. She is busy. You can almost smell how oh. delicious that picture smells. Look at that pie, apple muffins. But she saves the most beautiful ones of all to sell fresh at the market. We can go to our farmer's market right now to find apples, can yes, we? Yes, we can. She's loading up her truck. She's taking apples and some cider to her market. She loads everything into her truck and drives into the city. That's a big city. Here she goes across the bridge. Annie, the apple farmer, sets up her stand at the farmer's market. Wow. She's got cider and pies, dried apples, applesauce muffins, candied apples, applesauce cake, red delicious apples, Rome Beauty apples. Those are kinds of apples that she grows. Lots of customers come to Annie's stand. She is busy all day long. <clears throat> but 
By the end of the day, she has sold everything. She packs up and goes home. It's amazing that she sold everything. Oh, yes. Annie is tired, but happy. It feels so good to have her own apple farm. Oh, she's resting now. And look, here's some of her recipes. Applesauce, apple muffins, applesauce cake. Mmm, looks really good. Story time, friends. Grab a pad. Yeah. You want to wave your scarf? Oh, I love scarves. I will hand you the green My one. green one. Before we do our scarf play together, oh, and by the way, if you don't have a scarf, what else can you wear? A sock? A washcloth? A paper towel? You can wave almost anything you had to wave. And if you had absolutely nothing to wave at that, at that time, wave your hand, okay? And then find a Kleenex, because that works really, really well. Before we start to do our scarf, though, I'd like to do one, excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, of course. Story time, friends. Grandma Pat, hmm, Monkey would like to join us today. Hello, Grandma Pat. Hi, Monkey. Hello, story time. All right, Monkey, I'm so delighted to see you. Why don't you sit yourself right there and you can sing our scarf songs with us today. All right, before we start though, I wanna do another apple finger play song. And this is called A Little Apple Seed. Okay, here we go. Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground. Down came the raindrops falling all around. Out came the big bright sun as bright as could be. And the little apple seed grew up to be a tree. Nice job! Should we do it again? One more time? Let's plant one more apple tree. Here we go. Once a little apple seed was planted in the ground. Down came the raindrops falling all around. Out came the big sun, bright as bright could be. And the little apple seed grew up to be a tree. I love all those apple trees. All right, we haven't done our scarf warm up for a while, so let's do our scarf warm up. Here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf comes down. My scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out. My scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! Faster? Can you do it faster? Okay, all right, I'm ready, here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf comes down, my scarf goes around, round, 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 round. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! Whew. Okay, I feel like I'm warmed up. Are you warmed up, Grandma? I'm yeah. very warmed up. All right, here we go. Now we are going to go around the apple tree and we are going to pick ourselves some apples. So the first thing we're gonna do is go around the apple tree. And guess what? The song is called All Around the Apple Tree. Crazy, isn't it? All right, are you ready? Here we go. Here we go round the apple tree, the apple tree, the apple tree. Here we go round the apple tree on an October morning. Now, what do we need to do to get the apples? Oh, they're way up high. I think we're gonna need a ladder. Here we go. This is the way we climb the ladder, climb the ladder, climb the ladder. This is the way we climb the ladder on an October morning. Okay, we're way up high. Be steady on your, on your ladder. 
Now we're gonna pick those apples. Ready? This is the way we pick the apples, pick the apples, pick the apples. This is the way we pick the apples on an October morning. Now, before we eat them, I think we're going to wash them, okay? So let's pretend we have a big barrel of water and let's wash our apples. This is the way we wash the apples, wash the apples, wash the apples. This is the way we wash the apples on an October morning. And finally, after all that work, what do we get to do? That's right, we're going to eat our apples. This is the way we eat our apples, eat our apples, eat our apples. This is the way we eat our apples on an October morning. Oh, that was a delicious time. Thanks for playing. A story time, friends. Grandma Pat, I had so much fun today. It's fun with apples. And what a delicious thing to think about. Mm -hmm. But now I think it's time for us to say goodbye. Before we go, do you remember how we got to learn all about the apples here and how they picked the apples and how they made applesauce and delicious things out of the apples? And then apple farmer Annie, where did she sell her apples? She was so busy. Where did she sell her she apples? She drove them to the farmer's market in that big, big, big city. And then our little apples down here were so excited because they got to be a pie. They thought they were just in a basket. Mm -mm -mm. They got to be an apple pie. Now though, my friends, because it's time to say goodbye, would you sing with us? Grandma Pat, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I'm going to find a pie.